as the Republic of Maldives first woman foreign minister and former president Abdul Gayoom's daughter, Dunya Mamoun has been an influential politician. A Cambridge University graduate and a master's degree holder from the London School of Economics, she began her career with the United Nations, focusing on perennial issues like gender equality, women's empowerment, human rights and social development. And throughout her career in government, she has steadfastly served the Maldives under three presidents. She has been a pillar of strength during her father's formation of the DRP and the PPM. She became the first woman foreign minister of the Maldives in 2014. As foreign minister, she has ushered in many achievements, including representing the Maldives, UPR at HRC and CEDAW, formulating foreign policy for the Maldives and signing of multiple bilateral agreements, and professionalizing the Maldivian Foreign Service. While always committed to resolving issues through peaceful dialogue, she withdrew from the Yamin government to stand by her family. Dunya has been working behind the scenes, working to secure release for her family through her contacts with the international community. I think President Yamin failed in unifying people. I think he needs to show definitely more humanity. For example, in the case of my father, despite the appeals, despite his age and health, we have not seen any kind of forgiveness or concession on his part. I actually want to congratulate the presidential candidate, Mr. Ibrahim Soleh. My main hope also is to see Mr. Soleh as a unifying candidate who will bring together the people of Maldives who are very much divided at the moment. Escaping reprisal and persecution, she worked for the successful release of her father and brother. Her resilience, perseverance and diplomacy remains exemplary. Will Dunya Maumun remain in the political scene of the Maldives? The Maldives needs a strong woman of her caliber.